Okay, it's almost 12.01, so we're going to get going. I'm guessing some stragglers will, will show up as the session goes on. So so welcome, everyone. If this is your first time or um, you're not familiar with what we're doing here, the idea is that we get together once a day, Monday through Fridays, just for 15 minutes to practice these foundational well-being skills. Um, so today, actually, we're going to combine a couple of them into, into a practice. So it's things like you know mindfulness, attention training, gratitude. Sometimes we even do forgiveness or metta, uh, which is um, loving kindness or compassion practices. And the idea is, as long as we keep flexing those proverbial muscles in our in our nervous system, it just gets easier and easier. And hopefully, over time, it just becomes the the new normal for for how we operate in life. Um, so today's theme that I thought of is what I would call mindfulness based empathy. Um, to some extent, mindfulness is, is the foundation for pretty much everything that we do here. And so mindfulness being this quality of, of presence or awareness that we know that we're having an experience, right? Whether it's, I know I'm thinking right now, I know I'm feeling, I know, you know, I'm having certain sensations in my body. That, that awareness that something is happening is foundational to this process of empathy. So here's you know, a definition of empathy. I'm not saying it's the definition, but here's an, a, a, a definition. So first part is being fully present with what is alive in the other person. So I'm imagining where this is an interpersonal situation. So really being fully present with what is alive or what is going on in the other person in that moment, right? So not, not about where they were before, you know, what we think they're going to say, but really in this moment, being fully present with what's going on for them without bringing in preconceived ideas or judgments or focusing on one's own experiences. Easier said than done, but again, empathy, you know, this ability to feel with another person is so foundational, especially when we're struggling with, with some, some you know, conflict situations or strong emotions, that ability to stay mindfully present with what's going on for the other person is, is really hard to do um, and really worth practicing. So here are some what I would call empathy blockers, and these are what we're going to practice today. Uh, correcting, right? So someone saying something to me, maybe they're pointing their finger at me and they're blaming me for something that happened uh, earlier. There's a very automatic tendency for me to want to correct. That's not what happened. That's not what I said. You know, no, I didn't. That kind of thing. As soon as we start doing that, we're out of that feeling with the other person. So what's really hard here is sometimes when people come at us in these in these charged uh, situations, we might completely disagree with everything that they're describing, but that's not the point of empathy, right? The point of empathy is just to be with whatever's up for them and give them that gift of, I'm, you know, I'm going to be with whatever emotions or narrative that you're, that you're coming up with. Explaining or justifying is another one, you know, well, I got stuck in traffic and you know that this, you know, always happens uh, on Friday afternoons. I'm, I'm always late. Again, I'm, out of empathy. I'm sort of in, in my own uh, world. Advice giving. Well, you know, if you put on my shoes, then maybe you would understand. Or why didn't you just, again, we're out of that role of empathy. And then sympathy or storytelling. This is a sneaky one. So sympathy is, um, uh, you know, saying something like, oh, I remember when my dog died, I was really I was really sad or really depressed for days. What I just did there is I shifted the energy to to my narrative or my story that I had. And again, I've, I've moved away from being in the present moment with the other person. So in essence, anything that shifts the energy away from the other, from the speaker's experience. And so let's, um, let's try that. This is, we'll, we'll sort of go through, through a memory that you've had. So maybe start thinking about a situation, maybe some kind of a, a, a mild uh, conflict situation, a disagreement or something where um, someone was, was, was quote unquote coming at you with something and it activated you. And let's see if we can sort of feel into these empathy blockers and, and notice them where they're, uh, where they're occurring. So let's start by closing our eyes. Everyone except for Chris because Chris is driving. Please don't close your eyes, Chris. And let's just drop into the here and now. So this is this quality of being grounded and in the present moment is what we're looking for when we're in 
these situations that require empathy. So this ability to feel the ground, to make contact with our own body and space and time right here, right now. This is the foundation of this, this mindful presence that we're going to be leaning on in order to really practice empathy. Noticing sensations in the body, especially breath coming and going. Trying to find this balance between being alert and upright, yet not forcing or white knuckling it. So it's just being solid without being rigid. And I'll bring to mind a situation, could be a recent one, could be from a long time ago in your memory, in which you felt someone was judging you, accusing you, berating you, just kind of coming at you in a way. Maybe they're saying that you did something that you shouldn't have, or you didn't do something that you should have, whatever it might be. Let's see if you can drop back into that memory. And now I want you to see if you can stay in this, in this mindful awareness and just imagine yourself being in their presence as they're saying words, their body language, all of it is sort of coming at you, or it might feel like that. Just notice yourself sitting there with them, breathing open, open-hearted, open-minded. Now thinking back to what they were saying to you, what is it that you did or didn't do? Notice if there's any impulse to correct them. Any parts of you that want to raise your hand and say, yeah, that's not what happened. Or no, I didn't. Or absolutely I did. Whatever it might be, just notice where that impulse is coming from. And see if you can let go, just drop back into this solid state of just mindful awareness. Noticing the desire to correct, but not engaging with it. Now the same thing with explaining or justifying. You know, is there any part of you in this scenario that feels you need to make certain things clear Explain what happened. Justify your responses or your behaviors. And again, just notice how that takes you away from being fully present with what they're saying and what they're feeling. Just breathing, relaxing into it. Next, is there, is there any impulse to give advice, to uh, share your opinions and say, you know, well, what you could have done, or why don't you, whatever it might be, again, just notice any form of wanting to give advice takes you away from that mindful presence, that empathy in that moment. And again, just let it go. Let the advice given go. And 
Now moving on to sympathy. Notice if there's any part of you that maybe feels uncomfortable with what they're sharing with you and wants to somehow deflect the the energy, or maybe there's a part of you that wants to connect with them with a, by sharing a story of your own that might relate to this situation. Yeah, when this happened to me, here's what I did, here's what I experienced. And again, just noticing that impulse to sympathize, just breathe, just let it go. Just stay with, stay with the other person and their feelings and their words. So often with empathy, what makes empathy hard is this time pressure and this time crunch. I don't know if I can just sit here and listen to what this other person is saying without correcting them or telling them what I think they ought to be doing or how they should handle this situation. Instead, we just want to listen and make space. That's really hard. And staying connected to your breath and the sensation of being right here, right now. Really familiarize yourself with this, this mindfulness. And then imagine yourself back in this difficult situation with this foundation, with this mindful presence. The ego is going to have all kinds of ideas about what's wrong with the other person and how they always or they never listen or they're always doing this kind of stuff. And again, we just want to just breathe and just notice. Now, there's this, this impulse to defend myself, to give advice, to sympathize, to do anything but just be with the discomfort of what the other person is expressing and feeling. Go ahead and take a deep breath in through the nose. Long exhale through the mouth. Deem the lungs and the belly, and then hold that exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale. Long exhale. Again, hold for five, four, three, two, one. And then go ahead and open your eyes. Let the body breathe on its own. Mm. Empathy is one of those foundational skills. I think it's a lifelong practice. And uh, it's not one of those things that we either know or we don't know how to do. In my experience, it gets activated or triggered in different ways by different people on different circumstances. So sometimes we're really good at it. Other times we're just flailing and we get into that defensive posture and the energy is all, all wrong. So an invitation to maybe see this weekend if you can maintain some background mindfulness about you know how how present am i with other people's energy when they're talking or expressing themselves and just hopefully this this is helpful um i'll stick around for a few more minutes have a great weekend everyone see you on monday hopefully take care